What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a what I spend in a week, but as a 23 year old college student living in Indianapolis, Indiana. But before we get into that, you make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button. But with that being said, let's get right into the video. Okay, so I wanted to do this video just to see how much money we spend in a week. So yeah, let's get into it. We start off pretty good. Uh, we started on Monday and we went pretty much all day without spending any money. Up until later in the day where we went to this new burger joint that we've never tried called Jaggers and Low key, like we looked at the menu online and it looked really good, so we had to give it a try. So we went, I got a meal, Gabby got a meal, and that ended up being $30.47, which honestly, that's kind of a lot for a burger joint. I don't know, I'm kind of used to paying McDonald's prices, like two meals for like 20 bucks, but it was really good, it was worth it to be honest. Then the next day on Tuesday, I had class in the morning, and then after that, I had to go over to my friend's shop to record some videos for him. And after that, I had class again in the evening, then the podcast to finish off the day, so Honestly, I didn't really have any time to spend any money, which is a good thing. So Tuesday, I spent no money at all. Wednesday was also a very busy day. I had class in the morning all the way up until I had to go to work at 4. And then I got off of work at 1030 at night. So once again, I didn't have any time throughout the day to go spend any money. So no money spent on Wednesday. Now Thursday was a pretty decent day in terms of spending. I had class in the morning. Then after class, I went to the gym. And after the gym, I stopped by Walmart because I went to go buy some energy drinks and some Prime. Because me personally, I can't live without energy drinks. I mean, I can, but they're just so good. <laughs> I would say my top three energy drinks are Zoa, Alani New, and Rains. Not in, not in any specific order because I like them all equal. Well, like some flavors more than others, but I don't have a top favorite out of those three. But that trip ended up coming out a total of $12.83. Then later that day, I waited for Gabby to get off work and I went to the gym again. And then afterwards, I stopped by Chipotle to get us some dinner and that ended up being $25.62. Now Friday, going into the weekend where most of the money is spent. Um, Friday, we went over to Target after I got off work and we went to go buy my brother and his wife's baby some clothes. So I think that's all we spent on Friday and that ended up being $39.80. I lied, that's not all we spent that day. <laughs> My wife and I ended up having a pizza night. So we went out to Papa John's and got ourselves a large pepperoni and sausage pizza with a new like croissant bread that they had. Sorry, no, it's a Parmesan crusted crust, which honestly was way better than the regular crust. And that actually ended up being $5.64 because we did a carry out special and I think we had some points too because we kind of have Papa John's a lot and we had some points saved up, so why not? save on one of our trips that we go right now saturday came along and we won't we went to drive up to go see our parents but we had to stop by to get gas before that and that ended up being 43.57 for a full tank and props to us that was actually all that we spent that day <laughs> on a saturday usually well actually no sundays are the worst and let's get into sunday <laughs> okay so for the final day we ended up spending way more money than what we wanted but this is part of the video. This is what we ended up spending that week. So our spending started, I think, midday Sunday, and we actually went to Starbucks. And we got two drinks that ended up being $9.40 for two drinks, but that's because we had a coupon. Because normally we spend about like $12 there. Now, later in the day, we had to go to Walmart because the day before we were having some internet issues and I don't know what happened, but I went to update my router and whenever it updated, I think I accidentally disconnected it from the power and that messed up the whole router. And it turned out that the router was having hardware issues, meaning that we had no internet. And there was no way in me fixing it. I bought a new cable for it, it didn't work. I tried restarting it. Like in the back where there's that restart button, I was literally holding that for like a minute and nothing was happening. So the router was completely broken. So we had to go get a new one because the internet's kind of important. I have to upload my school stuff. I have to upload my YouTube videos. So we went to Walmart to buy a new router and some groceries. And that trip ended up being $256.67. That's a lot of money. So it kind of sucked that we had to buy a new router, but it was kind of necessary, unfortunately. So out of the whole week, Monday through Sunday, we ended up spending a grand total of exactly $424. That's a lot of money. <laughs> what the fuck? But now if we include a breakdown of my phone bill, my internet, and my rent, it comes down to be rent, internet, phone bill. I'll let you guys do the math on that one. So yeah, this video made me realize that we spend way too much money. So maybe next time that we think about going out, maybe we don't. There's food at home. We can make food at home. Well, if you guys like this kind of video, comment down below one of the items that we bought that you thought was completely fair to buy. Like the pizza. All jokes aside, don't forget to go down, hit that subscribe button, and turn on bell notifications so you know when I post. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.
Now Saturday came along, I think, no, not I think. It turned out that the router was having, but now we, blah, 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 blah. 